What about fasting? I've always joked. Every time, you know, I say something, I try to <clears throat> joke about it and say, well, I thought fasting was get to the table as fast as you could. <laughs> Somebody asked about fasting. And uh, a lot of people, when you say fasting, they always relate it to food. And that's the big, that's the big one. But you can fast from anything. The idea of fasting, let me, let me give you some verses before we uh, explain. Daniel 9 in verse 3, Daniel says, And I set my face unto the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplications with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. Fasting. Uh, another verse, you remember the disciples were trying to uh, cast out these demons. And they couldn't do it. Jesus comes to them, Matthew 17, verse 24. How be it, this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and what? Fasting. God, um, if you want to, okay, pause. If you're just praying about something, sometimes God will answer your prayer without fasting. He'll answer your prayer. There's always there's always three answers to it. People say, does God always answer prayer? He always answers prayer. But you may not like one of the three answers. We always want the yes. But there's always a no. And then there's a wait. So when you're praying, he always answers your prayer. Say, God's not answering my prayer. Yes, he is. It's either yes, no, or wait. And sometimes we'll pray. He ain't answering my prayer. You might be on the waiting list. <laughs> because you're going to get, he's going to get more glory out of by waiting and making you wait. And you continue to pray over whatever you're praying for. Now, if you come to that point and you feel like you're not getting uh, an answer from heaven, this is what happens. Praying to God about spiritual things is a spiritual in the spiritual realm. So if you want to enter in the spiritual realm and be more effective, you've got to decrease the physical. <laughs> you can't increase the physical and get into the spiritual. So when you pray like Daniel... Like the Lord was telling the disciples, sometimes you can't get a prayer through. It feels like you're just hitting the wall, hitting the ceiling there. You might want to try fasting. You say, Brother Jeremy, I'll starve. Ah, <laughs> I'm going to look down before I say this. I've looked at some of y'all ain't going to starve. <laughs> I'm not either. But the idea is humbling myself. My fleshly desire. My flesh wants to eat. But I'm saying, God, I'm putting my flesh aside. I'm about to starve to death. But I'm, my flesh is wanting to tell me that I'm hungry. But I'm putting that aside. I'm going to humble myself. And I'm seeking the spiritual. And I'm asking you to answer this prayer. And sometimes, a lot of times, that will get heaven's attention. When you... Here's, here's the, I tell people all the time, I strive, to, I do not like my body in control of me, my flesh. I always tell people, I, I had to, used to, I couldn't pass a Sonic without pulling in and getting a Route 44 sweet tea. Is there anything wrong with a Route 44 sweet tea? No. Well, other than the sugar that they put in it. But every time I pass one, my body says, pull in there and get one. Now, is there anything wrong with it? No. But try telling your body, try passing the sonic and telling your body, your body says, oh, I sure would like a sweet tea. And you just say, no, and see how your flesh reacts. So fasting can be more than just food. Fasting is something that's controlling your body. Some of you can't go a day without being on Facebook. And God says, I'm not answering your prayer until you let some of that fleshly stuff go 
and let me control your body instead of, mm, maybe I should say this for Sunday morning. Some people need to, a Facebook fast. Just get off of it today. You say, oh, I can quit anytime I want to. Try it. You'll go into, you'll go into uh, uh, conniptions. People, just try to, just try not to, try not to get on it. And you'll be like. <laughs> Your flesh is controlling you. It's telling you what you want to do. And God says, I don't like that. I want to be in control of you. And so until you fast, I'm not answering your prayer until you humble yourself and neglect yourself and put me as the focus. It doesn't always have to be food. It can be. A lot of times it is because that is a fleshly desire to eat. Uh, we have to uh, we have to eat to live, but most people <laughs> live to eat. <laughs> and there's a difference. You're supposed to eat till you get full and don't eat no more. Well, I'm supposed to clean my plate. Well, you shouldn't have piled it up that high. <laughs> it's about the flesh. God wants you to, um, it, it, it's about control. I do not like anything controlling my body. Does it sometimes? Yes. You know, a, some people, can I say this? Mm, <clears throat> I don't know what you do at home. But it may be, it may be soap operas or, I mean, you can't, I remember this as a, I, and, if daddy was here, he'd laugh himself silly when I say this. He told it to be the truth. I get, I mean, I, he told it to be the truth. He never lied to me. He told me. He said on a Wednesday night, we was having a prayer meeting. And he said, lady, Judy, was you there? There we go. We got a witness. <laughs> daddy was having prayer. Is there any prayer requests? And this lady asked prayer for one of the characters on the soap opera <laughs> that was going through whatever. And said, we need to pray for so-and-so because they're, you know, facing this right here. <laughs> My hand up. You too engulfed. It's, you need a fast. <laughs> Could be anything. What's controlling you? What, what would get God's attention if you just laid it down and said, God... I'm putting it down. There's nothing wrong with sweet tea. There's nothing wrong with a Coke and a candy bar. There's nothing wrong with all that stuff. But when it controls your every think, your every move, your mind, your soul, your body, God says, why about giving me some control? And so a lot of times, God answers prayer through fasting because he wants to see you control your own body and tell it no. So I haven't had a, a Sonic sweet tea in, I don't know, probably five, longer than that, probably uh, six or seven years. Um, just because, like I said, is there anything wrong? Mm -mm, not, nothing wrong with it. Not a thing wrong with it. Um, but it's about, you know, control. What controls I thought this was supposed to be a good Bible study, but it, it's starting to be a preaching session right here. <laughs> what control, what is controlling you? What controls you? And you say, I can't get my prayers answered. What's controlling you? I can't get my prayers answered. What's, what, what do you need to give up? What do you need to give up? You need to give up something? Mm-hmm. Well, let's find another question. Hallelujah. <clears throat> uh, let's see. What was it? Fasting? Okay. Oh, uh, Jesus. Y'all remember? Let me say this one more thing about fasting because I just saw the note. Fasting. Y'all remember when Jesus was tempted of the devil in the wilderness? He fasted 40 days to be able to combat and fight the devil. You say, well, he's God. He shouldn't have had to do it. Huh? You have to remember. Yes, he was God. 
but he was 100% man. It wasn't 50% man, 50% God. Mm -mm. He was 100% man after Mary and 100% God after his heavenly father. And so when he goes into that uh, wilderness of temptation, he is facing a physical obstacle. And he's got to fast and neglect himself to get his father's attention. Yeah. Mm-hmm.